Welcome back. So now, well, right now we have a div right here with the user profile. I want to be able to switch away from this div and show another div. And what I'm going to do is I'm just pasting in some code here. It's pretty much exactly the same that you see right here. The only difference is I've gone in now and I've wrapped it inside a div. So now the image is inside a div like this. And then I've added a button that we can click to say we, now we're actually changing the image. So it's kind of waiting for me to switch the layout depending on if I want to show what's currently there. Like let's just go here. So if I want to show um, a button here, come on, load. There we go like this. But when I click this, I want to kind of switch the image so that this will change and be something else. So what we're going to do is we're going to just add another div right here for now, div uh, like this. And just let's just give that a column layout as well right now. And then we're going to add a new variable here called changing. And we're going to say ngf. Uh, it's down here and then we're just going to call it changing like this so if we are changing we want to show uh, let's just call it changing image if we are changing the image we want to show this but if we are not changing the image we want to show this that's kind of the goal with the button so let's just add some extra functionality here to make this work so starting by going in here and adding a boolean value called changing this uh, sorry changing image Boolean value, there we go. Another thing I want to do is I also have a click event down here, changing image. Um, let's just call it changing Im image click. So we don't have two functions with the same name. And there we go, whoa, whoa, whoa. like this. So now we also have that in here. And all that's going to do is pretty much just uh, convert this changing image into true. So now we are changing image or we are actually working with that part of the UI. So the last thing I want to do this lesson is pretty much just add another button here so we can change back. And let's just add a button here and let's just center it again. And it's a button, yes, but this time we'll just do a save like this. Save new image, something like this. We just call it save like this. So the idea is pretty much that when I click this guy, I'm going to go back to the old view. So I'll just add that here as well. Add some curly brackets and then just make this false now. There we go. This will make sense later, but right now I just want to make it so that we can actually click and switch between two views. So notice now that is here when I click it, it goes to the save view. When I click it, it goes back to. So that's kind of how you can switch between two views. We've already done this before, so it's not rocket science. That's all for this lesson. Next lesson, we'll work more with this. Uh, switching of use.